Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today, I am free to play. What I mean by that is, I've been grinding for so long for this moment that I know exactly how free to play players feel because they are on the grind every single day. So we are going to recreate a portion of that grind today and see what the fruits of our labor, see if all that grind is really going to pay off. What I have done silently grinding over the past six months, I think, I can't even remember, that's how long the grind has been, is I've saved up mythic comic cards, non-premium mythic comic cards, and I have them here. I've converted 504 of them, over 500, I know, close to 9,000. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be rapid fire re-rolling one of my existing cards. So let's see if a 1 in 500 chance is good enough. I, I pray that it is because I'm honestly scared and angry uh, and nervous for what's going to happen if it's not. And in order to test my luck properly, because we already have a 7 quality card here that I'm not re-rolling, I'm going to be re-rolling this card. For those of you that don't know, this card and I have a very long history of torture and repeated pain. What I'm going to be aiming for today, and you're not going to see the re-rolls in real time, I'm going to speed it up because it's really boring. Uh, I'm aiming for, and you're looking for, the HP proc at the bottom, the all attack at the top, uh, right here, right, the, the, the all basic attack increase in blue, and then whatever that second stat is, I will forfeit. So I'm actually not even going for a technically perfect card. That's how crazy the RNG is in Marvel Future Fight. Even if you have 500 chances to, to roll something, you have to immediately knock one of the, them off. Because if you go for a 7 quality 3 perfect stat card, you're probably going to need like 2,000 rerolls, right? And I just don't have, I don't have that much free to play grind in me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, here we go. We're going to do a combine, not, not a craft combine. So this is the mistake. This is a very costly mistake. We're doing regular combines here. And I'm just going to be rapid fire selecting through these. Here we go. One thing I forgot to mention that I'll mention now as I'm as I'm starting the reroll is I'm not even going to look at it if it's not at least five quality. Like I, I, I have already rerolled off of my own five quality card. So there isn't even a point to me looking at it if it's less than five quality. That's going to save me a lot of time in these re-rolls. Anywho, back to the fast forwarding. One second here. I was getting nervous that I was going to accidentally use one of these premium cards. So we're just gonna lock all of them so I can't accidentally use them. So we are a hundred cards deep so far. We've seen zero sevens, which is probably the most shocking. Zero sevens out of a hundred. Uh, we've seen a, a handful of sixes, maybe like six or seven of them, but none of them have had uh, more than one good stat. And again, we need the HP proc, that's non-negotiable. And then we need the all attack roll. So we have two basically non-negotiable stats. And with only 400 more rolls, I'm starting to get a little nervous, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I would have liked to have at least seen one 7 quality. But anywho, back to the fast forwarding. Six. 
Seven. Oh, so we get our first seven quality roll, but it's three terrible stats. Well, crowd control time is not bad, but the other two are terrible. Cannot use that. So have to keep rolling, unfortunately. But it only took about 150 cards to see a single seven, which is crazy. So we're actually only on pace for two more sevens at this rate. Another seven quality. Oh, and I hit it! I hit it! Yes! Holy crap! No way! It's perfect! It's basically perfect. Oh my god, there's no way! We hit it! All attack! HP! I don't even care about the energy defense! It's seven quality! No way! Holy cow! Wow. Wow. I never thought in a million years. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm shaking. Oh my goodness. I never thought in a million flipping years. Holy cow. Wow. That's cr I was like I was thinking in my head. I'm going to get I'm going to be getting messages from people. Uh, hey, Alex, I watched the video, man. Sorry. Sorry about your bad luck. That's just awful. You know, people in the comments like, this is why I quit the game and stuff. Holy cow. I'm so glad we dodged all of that heart heartbreak and, and all that, that. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. Now, for those of you who are sort of scratching your heads like, Alex, why are you so freaked out about this? Well, not only is this extremely rare, but... At this point in time, it's like my cards are, you know, peak condition Ronnie Coleman. And there's just so little that you can do to make the muscles bigger on that dude's body. He's just at his peak. He's at, he's at the human peak, let alone his peak. So that's really where it's at now, right? I, I mean, I have a few, like, you're looking at the poison resist up top there. Yeah, I know. I got to change that. That those Those will come later, but... As far as, like, besides those changes, right, besides those few changes that I have left on the card stats up here, um, really all that's left is to re-roll the cards that were lower quality uh, to higher quality. And the higher quality actually matters a lot because that just added, that just added 1.5% all attack, cooldown, crit damage, and max HP. It actually added 3% max HP because it added 1.5% max HP to the orange fixed option and it added 1.5% max HP to the crafted options. So that's 3% HP. That's not a small amount, right? That's almost what you would roll on a basic on like a basic random option. So, yeah. I'm over the moon. I'm so happy with how this went. My god. And it what really makes me happy is that even for someone like me, who's played for seven years, who has spent, you know, over $10,000 on the game, VIP 20, no doubt, right? And I've spent hundreds, thousands of hours in the game that I can still have an experience like this where I have no idea what's going, like I have no idea what's, what's gonna happen, right? And I'm sort of risking it all, gambling my time that I had spent diligently saving we only got through 150 cards. I'm really happy with those odds. Really happy. I don't know. I don't think that this is the average luck. Because you guys saw me sink about 150 or 200 cards into this one, re-rolling it originally. And I never got this roll. So, overall, this card has probably seen about close to 400 re-rolls. I would say about 350 to 400 re-rolls. So maybe that you could take as the total amount. If you were to start fresh on a card, you're probably looking at anywhere from 200 to 400 rerolls in order to get seven quality with two good stats. Uh, but that's a conservative guess. It may be bigger than that, but I'm really glad that it didn't take the full 500 because now we can look at the next card, maybe the Luna card. I don't know though, because it has three good stats. So I'm kind of hesitant to reroll this one. Or perhaps the White Fox card. Maybe re-rolling the White Fox card and trying to get 7 quality on that. Uh, again, because for this one, I'm not really that interested. I'm really not worried about the this last stat here. If it gets dodge, that's nice. Or crit rate, that's nice. But really, we're just looking at the attack and the proc there. 
but yeah, maybe giving getting seven quality on this is better. Uh, or maybe it's better to try to get seven quality on this. I'm not sure. I actually think it might be the Luna card. But yeah, for that one, we're going to definitely have to roll all three stats. So that might actually end up costing us more. But yeah. Whew. Two sevens. Two sevens. Two sevens out of five. You know, there are some accounts, by the way, guys, that have all sevens. Yeah, if you think these are the nicest cards in the game, it actually gets crazier. Believe it or not. Yeah, if you go look and you, you can find some some truly obscene whales uh, who make me blush and look like a, a, a little a little puffer fish. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the luck. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.